to 29 degrees by 10 p.m., but really not a cloud in the sky. That will make for a really nice start to the day tomorrow. Allows us to get chilly out your door, and then we do see some clouds build as we warm up for tomorrow. As far as our highs go, 51 degrees in the spring, so we're still four or five degrees below average, and this does hold true region wide, but it's comfortable 55 Pueblo, 51 Canyon City. It's comfortable when you factor in the abundance of sunshine that we do expect for a majority of the day. As those clouds do filter in, it'll get a bit chillier out there. 50s, 60s out towards the plains, especially towards uh, Lamar, Los Animas. That's what we keep a pretty close eye on. If you do want to hike, certainly might need to wait till the afternoon and evening. 23 degrees by 9 a.m., but we warm up nicely. We get back into the 40s and 50s across the region, and the winds are calm for the most part. 10, 20 mile per hour gusts, but we're accustomed to that here in Colorado. By 6 p.m., still 49 degrees, but some of those upper level clouds will build into the region, all associated with that atmospheric river surge of moisture for the western United States. While we don't get a direct feed of that moisture, it starts out as some clouds ahead of any rain and snow showers before snow eventually begins to move in Sunday night for Monday. We stay dry Monday, maybe a very isolated rain or snow shower across the I-25 corridor, but the plains, you will stay dry. It's a nice little mountain storm, not the main event. We got to wait till the middle of that week. Tuesday, we're dry across the I-25 corridor out towards the plains. By Wednesday, this is the main event storm of the week. Significant mountain snow, one to three feet total. Winter uh, storm watches have already be, been issued associated with this system. Now, this is our lower resolution model, and you can see perhaps a sprinkle across I-25. Any of that activity would be during the afternoon. Quickly moves out, nothing to change your plans over, especially this far out. I do think I would favor west of I-25 for all of that rain and snow to linger. Through Thursday, still, mountain snow is in the forecast. We stay calm for that I-25 corridor and out towards the plains. So it's not the worst week for us, but if you had need to travel towards the high country, dangerous travel conditions will be expected. Temperature-wise, it's an average week. It's a seasonal week. We stay dry. It's a really nice Colorado weather week. By Sunday, 51 degrees, the start of that gradual warming trend right near that average Tuesday and Wednesday. As that mountain storm moves through, we will see temperatures drop even if we don't pick up on those rain or snow chances. I would say Wednesday and Thursday are the greatest chance for maybe an isolated rain or snow shower. Again, nothing you change your plans over. Just do keep that in mind. And as we do head into the next weekend, looking well ahead, we do see active weather once again pick up for that day on Saturday and Sunday. Monday, I forgot to mention this, our first official day of spring, and it gets off to a chilly start. And then by Tuesday and Wednesday, we start to rebound with temperatures, making a really seasonal feel. 57 degrees Tuesday and Wednesday in the spring. So we got to wait one day, but then we do get those seasonal temperatures for the middle of that week. And things do pick up by Friday into Saturday and Sunday. This is what we'll be keeping a very close eye on. 60s midweek in Pueblo. Same holds true out in Canyon City, 58 on Wednesday. With that, 